Welcome to Sir Wins Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 06, Sales Transactions. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito, yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi, ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but actually by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin. So again, Lecture 06, Sales Transaction. So actually, gagawa ulit tayo ng journals dito. Okay, that's why we have the journal sheet. Okay? So simulan na natin, basahin ang problem. Erin Jagger owns a general merchandise store in Bohol. So the following are some of his transactions for October 2021. So okay, so we go with October 1. Sold merchandise to Armin Armlet of Palawan, 36,960. Terms, 2, 10, and 30, FOB Palawan, freight prepaid. Okay? So, lagay na muna natin yung, ano, yung date dito, 2021, October 1. So, basically, nagbenta tayo dito at uh, on credit kasi merong terms dito, 2, 10, and 30. That's why we are going to debit accounts receivable, okay? Kahit hindi na po kumpletuhin, okay lang na yung acronym na lang, AR. Okay, the amount is 36,000, okay, 960. And we are going to credit the sales account kasi nagbenta tayo, okay? 36,960, okay? So that that's it. By the way, may binigay dito ang FOB terms, FOB Palawan and Freight Prepaid. Hindi pa natin yan concern kasi nga sales transaction lang muna tayo. Mamaya natin pag-usapan. Which basically ngayon na rin pala. Kasi pagdating ng February 2, pay the freight on the sale yesterday, 2016. Okay? So automatically, we are going to credit cash kasi ang sabi dito ay paid the freight. The fact that you paid, malamang you credit the cash. Okay? Tsaka ang isa pa ang sabi dito, freight prepaid. Okay? Pag freight prepaid, it is the seller who actually pays the freight. Kasi bago pa umalis sa lugar mo, binayaran mo na. Kaya tama naman na ikaw talaga magkikredit ng cash. Okay? Ano tong FOB Palawan? Basically, dito tinansfer yung ownership of the goods sa Palawan. Ngayon, taga saan tayo? Si Erin Jagger ay taga Buhol. So basically, ito yung shipping point. Kasi tayo yung nagbebenta, dun magsisimula. Ano naman yung FOB Palawan? Yun yung lugar ni Armlet, Armin Armlet. So malamang ito ay destination. Kasi dun pupunta. Okay, so ang idea, okay, the ownership of the goods passes at the point of destination. That's why during travel or in transit, it is the seller who owns the goods. Therefore, it is the seller who must record and page the freight, di ba? So sa madaling salita, pagdating ng October to tayo pala ang magre-record ng freight that's why we are going to debit freight okay? Sa pagkakataong ito hindi na po in but rather out na kasi nga tayo seller. So we, we debit freight out amounting to 2016 and we are going to credit cash kasi nga freight prepaid tsaka ang sabi, we pay the freight okay? So that's it Now let's move on with October 3 Issued a credit memo to Armlet for defective goods returned, 2,800. Okay? So, tayo ang gumawa kasi we, we issue. Sa pagkakataong ito kung seller ka, tama ang pagtingin sa credit memo. You are going to credit really the accounts payable, the accounts receivable. Again, you are going to credit the accounts receivable kasi nga ikaw ang nag-create. Ang ibig kong sabihin, okay, kapag ikaw yung buyer, baliktad yung treatment kasi ikaw yung nakatanggap. Pero pag ikaw yung seller, natural ikaw yung gagawa. Okay, that's why, ang sabi mo doon, we are going to credit your account. Edi tama, dahil ikaw ang gumagawa, ikaw nga ang nag issue So tama po na ikikredit mo yung account ni Armlet. Na basically, that is account sa receivable. Okay, so gawin na lang po natin yung October 3. So we are going to debit sales. Okay, return and allowances. Ayan, ang normal balance ng sales return and allowances ay debit. Okay, kasi nga yung kanyang nanay na sales ay nakakredit Tsaka sinauli mo So we are going to credit accounts receivable Kasi nag-issue ko ng credit memo Okay, 2,800 Next, October 4 Sold merchandise to Sasha Blouse Okay, o Pampanga 42,560 Terms, 20% down balance 2,518 and 30 FOB Buhol Freight prepaid Huwag muna itong freight Doon muna tayo sa bentahan Okay 
So basically, meron tayong cash kasi merong down payment po dyan. So we are going to debit cash. How much is that? Okay, ang sabi dito, the total amount of transaction is 42,560. There is a 20% down payment. Okay? So basically, that is what? 8,512. Okay? At ang sabi yung balance, basically, that is accounts receivable. Ayan, solve po natin. That would be... 42,560 minus 8,512. So, the balance is 34,000. Okay? 48. Ayan. And we are going to credit what? Sales. Kasi basically, nagbenta tayo. Totaling 42,000. Okay? 560. Okay? So, tumuli pa tayo. Sabi dito, pay the freight on the sale yesterday. Okay? Okay? So, sabi dito, FOB, uh, sorry, freight prepaid. Bago umalis, binayaran natin. Kaya tama nga na talagang we paid the freight kasi prepaid. Now, FOB buhol. What is FOB buhol? Shipping point. Kasi nga, tayo yung nasa buhol. Okay? Ngayon, doon nagsimula, transfer na natin sa buhol pa lang. So, shipping point. Who will record the freight? The answer is, it must be the, the buyer Kasi nga, shipping point The fact na tayong nagbayad Sa point of view natin Okay, dapat additional receivable natin yun sa kanila Ang ibig kong sabihin Okay, the entry would be Debit accounts receivable Okay, for 1,120 And we are going to credit cash Kasi nga, prepaid Kasi nga, ang sabi, we pay the freight ba diba? Again, bakit account sa receivable? Hindi naman tayo dapat magbayad Si buyer dapat O darapur, kukolektahin natin yan sa kanya Debit account sa receivable Next Six Okay Issued a credit memo to blouse As allowance on damaged goods So, nag-issue na naman tayo ng credit memo Kasi nagsauli yung customer Si Sasha Blouse Okay, so We make the entry. So, we are going to debit what? Okay. So, debit sales return and allowances. So, kahit na allowances ang nangyayari, pinapagsama-sama na talaga natin sila sa isang account title. And we are going to credit accounts receivable kasi si Sasha Blouse ay meron namang utang sa atin. Okay. So, kababasan sa utang niya dahil nga nagsauli siya. Ayan, so we move on with 7 Sold merchandise to Mikasa Volleyball of Batangas 63,840 Terms, 30% down 18-day 30,000 note Balance 210 and 30 FOB Batangas Freight Collect Doon muna ulit tayo sa bentahan Okay? So basically there is a down payment So we are going to debit cash Ang sabi that is 30% So therefore 63,840 times 30% That would be 19,152 Okay, so debit cash 19,152 At ang sabi pa dito There is a 30,000 note So therefore, we are going to debit notes receivable Kasi may note naman pala Okay 30,000 At ang sabi, the balance is 2, 10, and 30 Yung balance yan, yung credit term na yan Represented yan ng accounts receivable Na basically, balancing figure So again, 63,840 And then, may down payment na 19,152 Okay And then, 30,000 So we will get what? 14,000 688 na accounts receivable And we are going to credit sales Kasi nga, nagbenta naman talaga tayo Amounting to 63,000 Okay? 840 Now, let's try to move on <coughs> Issue the credit memo to Volleyball For the freight that she paid on the sale yesterday 2,688 Pag-usapan naman natin yung freight FOB Batangas, tagabuhol tayo So basically, this is what? Destination Who must record the freight? Di ba tayo? Okay, kasi nga, destination, seller tayo Freight collect Okay, so ang freight ay nabayaran pagdating kasi nga kinolekta Therefore, it is the buyer who actually pays the freight Kaya nga ang sabi dito, issued a credit memo Dahil nagbayad sila, eh, dapat tayo ang magbabayad Credit memo in a sense na binabawasan natin ang kanilang accounts receivable Kasi nga Binayaran nila yung freight Na dapat tayo yung magbayad Okay? That is amounting to 2,688 Gawin na lang natin 
We are going to debit freight out. Why? Because sa BFOB destination, Batangas, okay, we will record the freight, okay? Amounting to 2,688. Freight out kasi seller tayo. Ngayon hindi tayo yung totoong nagbayad kasi freight collect. That's why we give credit memo. Therefore, ang effect, we are going to credit accounts receivable for the same amount, 2,688. Okay, let's move on. Yan, October 11. Collected in full the open account due from Blouse. Okay, so basically nangongolekta tayo. We are going to debit cash. Ang tanong, magkano yung utang ni Blouse? So therefore, we have to trace. Nangyari yung unang transaction kay Blouse ay October 4. So basically, ang receivable natin sa kanya is 34,048. At pag tumuloy tayo, Okay? Kay blouse din yung sa 6. Okay? So, yung 5. Okay, yung 5 ay sa kay blouse din. Kasi related to dun sa freight ni blouse. ba? Diba? FOB Bohol to so shipping point. So, additional yan kay blouse. Okay, so plus 1,120 para sa freight. Pero si blouse ay nagkaroon ng, ng return na 3,040. 24. So, therefore, minus 3,024. Nakalagay din dito. Okay? So, magkano ngayon ng utang ni Blaus? Basically, 32,144. Okay? So, sa madaling salita, ituloy lang muna natin yung entry. We are going to credit accounts receivable to Blaus 32,144. Kaya may lockdown dyan na isa kasi may pagkakataon na sakop yun sa discount period. Ang ibig kong sabihin, Okay? Yung transaction kay Sasha Blouse, 2518. Di ba may credit term? May discount term? Di ba? Ngayon, kailan siya nagbayad? So, ang sabi dito, okay? 11. How many days from October 4 going to 11? So, bilang nga natin, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay? Okay? That is 8 days. Okay? Ngayon, pasok ba siya dito sa 1% discount? I think yes. Okay? Okay? Tama ba? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 7 seven days That is 7 days Pasok pa rin siya dito sa 8 days, di ba? Therefore, meron siyang 1% Wala siyang 2% dahil nga nalampasan siya Okay, that's why meron po tayo ditong lockdown Kasi nga hindi mo makukulekta ng buo Yung 32,144 But rather, magkakaroon ng tinatawag na sales discount Yung kababasan Ang tanong Nakabase ba siya dito sa 32,144? The answer is Not all of the time with the current balance Kasi you have to trace You know the date You must know the details Ang ibig kong sabihin Baka mamaya dito sa mga transaction na to Merong related Merong hindi related sa sales transaction Ibig kong sabihin Baka merong related sa freight Meron naman sa transaction na to Kasi kung maalala ninyo It is a sales 34,048 Okay? 1,120 is for the freight Di ba? Freight ito, 5 Paid the freight, okay? And then yung 6 naman ay sa alawan Sa madaling salita, huwag natin isasama dapat Yung 1,120 Okay? So again It must be 34,048 Yung receivable natin kay Blouse Tapos nag-return nga siya ng 3,024 So therefore Ito lang 31,000 yung 31,024 Ang magiging subject to discount Okay, even though hindi yan yung receivable, ito naman yung magiging base sa discount Okay, na basically that is 1% Marami nakakamali doon Okay, so dapat talagang alam mo na ang may discount lang ay yung related sa merchandise Kung merong pampagulo yung ibang transaction, kailangan mo siyang tanggalin So again, we debit sales discount for 310.24 And yung cash is the balancing figure Okay, so 32,000 144 minus 310.24 That will be our cash Okay, how much is that? Okay, 31,833.76 Okay, so nakakolekta na tayo kay Shasha Blaus Next, 17 Ang sabi dito Okay, collected from Balibol in full of open account So, we, we must also trace what happened to Balibol Okay, to Mikasa Okay, so the open account amounting to 14,688 So, i-trace lang muna natin yung kanyang balance eh. 14,688 
And then afterwards, ano pang nangyari po dito? Sa 8, okay? Nagkaroon ng credit memo, so therefore nabawasan itong kay ano, kay Mikasa, kay Volleyball ng 2,688. So minus, okay? Meron pa bang nangyari kay Mikasa? Ayan. So, wala na. Ayan. Nangungulikta na tayo. So basically, magkano ang accounts receivable niya? That is 12,000. So therefore, nangungulikta nga tayo So we are going to debit cash Okay, meron bang discount kaya? Okay, so tingnan muna natin 17 nagbabayad Okay, nagsimula yan ay 7 So therefore 10 days So pasok din siya So therefore we have to put here Sales discount Okay And we are going to credit accounts receivable Na basically nakwenta na po natin That is 12,000 Okay, nauna yung credit Ayan So ngayon, ang tanong, dito ba ibibase yung 2% discount? The answer is no Okay, why? Because there is a freight na pag-usapan na kanina Okay, so therefore, ang base lang talaga nung kay Shasha, kay, ano, kay Mikasa Okay, ay yung 14,688 14,688 times 2% discount That would be the, the discount na nga Okay, so 293 Okay, 0.76 And the balance will go to cash 12,000 minus 293.76 So the cash would be 11,706.24 So I believe natapos na rin yung 17 So importante lang talaga Na pag nagkikwenta ka ng discount okay, Kasama yung return allowances Pero yung freight talaga Dapat na naunawaan mo na hindi siya sinasama sa computation Okay? Now let's try to move on with the last transaction Nabitin po tayo ng isa Collected the note due from volleyball So okay, so that would be 2021 October 25 Collected the note, so therefore we are going to debit cash Okay? Ang tanong, anong kinukollecta natin? Malamang notes receivable So we are going to credit notes receivable Meron bang interest yon? So balikan lang muna natin yung notes receivable kay volleyball 7, okay, may 18% Therefore Automatically, meron tayong interest income dyan Okay Lagyan na natin ng mga figures Una, magkano yung notes receivable na ikikredit natin Ang sabi dito, 30,000 yung note Kung papatunayan pa natin, nakalagay dito Nakadebit ang notes receivable na 30,000 Kaya ngayon, ikikredit natin siya So, 30,000 dito Okay, ang kasunod, how much is the interest income? Ang sabi dito, the note Again, may formula, may formula po siya The principal is 30,000 The rate is 18% So times 0.18 So we will get 5,400 Which is the interest for the whole year Nga lang 18 day lang yung note Okay, naka 18 days kaya ito So 17 plus 18 Okay, bulok talaga ako sa math So basically 25 po yan 7 plus 8, 5 So 25, sakto siya Okay So therefore, ang kukunin natin yung days na na-consume niya Times 18 days Divided by 360 Kasi nga Okay, we are using the uh, parang bankers rule So, 270 ang interest income Isulat ulit natin yung computation That is 30,000 Okay Times 18% Times 18 over 360 Okay Bankers rule, ang ibig sabihin lahat daw ng buwan ay 30 days Okay, pag walang sinabi yung problem Diyan natin ina-assume na ganun karami yung araw sa isang taon Okay? How much now is the cash? Probably, pag aadin mo po yan So that would be 30,000 Okay? 270 So I believe, okay, tapos na yung ating sales transaction Actually, yung purchase at sales transaction Ay pwedeng magkasama sa isang problem We just try to emphasize, di ba? Na ito'y para lang sa sales Yung isang video para lang sa purchases So yun lamang at maraming salamat